Dear friends of the Faustinum Association, today, of course, is a special day in two ways. It is the start of the holy season of Lent, the day of Ash Wednesday. But it is also, of course, a special day of celebration to give thanks to the merciful Jesus for the revelation of the image of divine mercy to Sister Faustina at the convent in Płock on this day, 92 years ago. It is good for us to see that there is a wonderful reflection and also a great, great sense of unity between Ash Wednesday and the revelation of the image of divine mercy, whose anniversary celebrates and falls this day. When we come for Holy Mass on this Ash Wednesday, the priest will mark us with the sign of the cross, and he will say to us, remember you are dust, and unto dust you will return. He may also use the other optional inscription which says to us, repent and believe the gospel. Each one of us throughout this holy season of Lent have a chance to be recreated. It is from the dust, from ashes, that Adam was first formed. Almighty God said, let us make man in our image. And he took a handful of dust, he molded it and breathed life into it. That same dust we now receive on this Ash Wednesday to become a new image, a new person, to become an image of divine mercy in all that we do and all that we say, so that as we arrive at the great feast of Easter and the feast of divine mercy, the Sunday of divine mercy, we can be a new creation, a new image, remolded and refashioned to be living images of the merciful Jesus. And therefore, on this day of Ash Wednesday, we see the great humility of the Lord, walking barefoot upon the dust of the ground. The same dust that God used to recreate us, the same dust that is placed upon our foreheads this Ash Wednesday. None of us therefore journey alone. The Word incarnate, divine mercy incarnate, has come amongst us to show us the path to take on a new life, a new way, and he reveals to us the image that we are called to be, to be divine mercy incarnate. And so throughout Lent we shall try through our acts of prayer, our fasting and our almsgiving to die to self so that we can reveal at Easter the new image of an image of ourselves more closely united to the Lord, following more faithfully in the footsteps of the Lord. Our way of Lent will be a way of the cross, leading us from death to life eternal by living a new life, the Easter life, the life of the risen Lord Jesus, a merciful life filled with acts of mercy out of praise of God and out of love towards our brothers and sisters. And therefore, dear members of the Faustinum, as we gather this anniversary day of this image of divine mercy, we ask the Lord that our heart, our eyes, our tongue, our feet, our hands may be filled with works of mercy throughout this holy season of Lent and that we, each one of us may arrive at the joyful celebration of Easter and of the Sunday of Divine Mercy, to be living reflections, living images of Divine Mercy. May St. Faustina, who prayed that beautiful prayer, Lord, transform me, that she may help us to be transformed and to become these new images of the Lord, as that, as that dust is placed upon our forehead. Almighty God may recreate us, may refashion us, and mould us into the image of his Son, Jesus. Jesus, we commit these 40 days to you, and we ask through this holy season of Lent 
that you may renew each member of the Faustina Association to walk more faithfully in your footsteps and to become your images of mercy in the world around us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Jesus, I trust in you.